Hello, today I will be hiking in uh, another AONB area of uh, outstanding natural beauty and it's called uh, Cotswold AONB and it's the second largest protected landscape in England after uh, uh, Lake District and there will be Cotswold Hills so there, there are, there is a lot to explore in uh, Cotswold. That's another AONB I will explore today. It will be uh, 10 miles or 12 miles walk today. So uh, I'm waiting for the coach. I paid 12 pounds. Uh, the coach will take us from Birmingham to Cotswold and return. And I paid 12 pounds. Uh, so I'm waiting for the coach. Uh, so yeah, let's go. This is my coach uh, I'm taking to Cotswold. Right, uh, my walk has started now. My coach is parked on the right. Uh, so uh, in this walk I will be going through various uh, villages, towns, historical places, hills. Um, so there is uh, a lot to explore in Cotswold. What they call green beans or? No, these are broad beans. Oh, broad beans, okay. Right, uh, my walk has started from uh, Stanton uh, village. Right, uh, this village I'm walking in is uh, called Stanton and it is in Gloucestershire. Uh, the village is uh, built almost completely of uh, Cotswold uh, stone, a honey-colored Jurassic limestone. Several cottages have uh, thatched roofs. There will be a lot of wheat fields uh, in uh, Cotswold, so I will see many fields uh, of wheat uh, on my walk. And for some reason, Nottingham Hill. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know why it's called that. All right, okay. Oh, and the, you could just see the Malvern through the gap there. Oh, Malvern Hills? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
and you want your cock to go wide then. That's the very faintly in the gap. You yeah, will see better in a minute. Oh, okay. And can you just ahead yeah. in the trees, can you see a sort of grey viaduct? Yes, That's yes. That's the um, Worcestershire. Worcestershire, okay. Warwickshire. Warwickshire. Uh, heritage line, it's a stream one. Right. A bit of luck, we might see a steam engine come along sometime. Oh, right, okay. Then you'll be fine with the cops all dead, so you'll get a wider view from there. Right, okay. Then you will see the more Right. It's a beautiful place. Yep, beautiful. Uh, I have crossed to Stanton village uh, now I am on my way to another village it's called uh, Stanway uh, the Stanton village is probably one of the prettiest and uh, idyllic villages in the whole of the Cotswold uh, little changed in 300 years uh, the Stanton is a typical uh, Cotswold sleepy village with no sign of commercialization or shops uh, the village contains a number of 16th and 17th century houses as well as a restored medieval cross and a church in which some normal work is uh, still evident stanton takes its name from stan which means stone uh, from which it is built similarly the neighboring village of Stanway Right, uh, I am in Stanway village, uh, is a small village in uh, North Gloucestershire at the foot of uh, Cotswold. Uh, the houses cluster around and for the most part are owned by Stanway House uh, with its famous gravity fed uh, fountain. Um, so uh, this, this church is uh, called St. Peter uh stanway church uh, is a building of stone in the late norman early english and uh, perpendicular style uh, consisting of a chancel nave and an uh, embattled western tower with pinnacles containing a clock and four bells in the church is a memorial to augusta uh, Countess of uh, Rossmore, who died 28th of July 1840. Robert Dover, who instituted uh, the once famous Cotswold Hill Games, died here in uh, 1642 and is uh, buried uh, in the churchyard. Uh, the church was restored in 1897 at the cost of upwards of 2000 
pounds and uh, affords 90 sittings. The church is primarily 12th century with much Victorian restoration work. The parish church of St. Peter has a lovely churchyard. Right, uh, this is a uh, Stanway water mill, uh, which is the eighth largest water wheel in England, was reopened uh, by the Prince of Wales in 2009. Uh, it has been used over the centuries for fueling wool cloth paper production, sawmilling, electricity generation and for grinding flour and uh, animal feed. There are uh, many houses in uh, Cotswold uh, which has a thatched roof. Thatched is a very old roofing method and has been used in both tropical and uh, temperature climates. Thatched is a craft of uh, building a roof with uh, dry vegetation such as straw, water, reed, sedges, rushes, heather or palm branches laid in the vegetation so as to shed water away from the inner roof uh, since the bulk of vegetation stays dry and is uh, densely packed trapping air function as insulation <laughs> Right, uh, we're going to have a break here for uh, 15 minutes and this is the information hot. Uh, there is a lot of information about Stanway Fountain, Stanway State, uh, about the past and uh, historical facts. I would highly recommend to read uh, the information on uh, these uh, boards. Behind. Very big horse, isn't it? 
right uh, this is a ram pump hydraulic power free pump for irrigation agriculture it is eco friendly solution to water transfer uh, by ram pump system it replaces uh, solar powered systems uh, uh, it's alternative energy environmentally friendly pump uh, eco safe maintenance free water uh, pumping system a uh, hydraulic ram can raise water upwards of uh, 300 meter in height and uh, 5 kilometer in distance the steady flow from the ram fills a header tank that can then supply houses Right, uh, the limestone in the Cotswold is called Jurassic limestone. It gives the Cotswold their distinctive character and uh, an underlying unity in its use as a building material throughout the area. The Cotswold are nationally important for their rare limestone grassland habitat and for ancient beech woods. Uh, with rich flora Right, uh, those fields in the front are uh, lavenders. Lavenders, I'm not sure if you can see that right in front and over there. Uh, I am in a Cotswold area of outstanding natural beauty. So I am walking 10 miles in uh, Cotswold A and B. So it's been a few hours I have been walking and the weather you can see it's cloudy and sunny mixed. Along the bottom on the, um, what are they called? Uh, the thing next to the floorboard. It's like the, um, I don't know what it's called. You know, like the um, piece of wood. That they have. I didn't know that they had 
Right, uh, I am in uh, Snows Hill Village and uh, it uh, sits on the top of uh, villages of uh, Broadway, Buckland and uh, Leverton. Uh, there is a manor house uh, now administered by National Trust. It is a, an interesting architecturally as a typical 15th and 16th century manor house. This place is in uh, Gloucestershire and uh, it's only located uh, 2.8 miles from uh, Broadway. Right, uh, this church in Snows Hill, it's called uh, St. Baranabas uh, Snow Hills uh, Church uh, for the community, local community. Right, the church uh, was rebuilt in 1864, is a building of stone in the early English style consisting of a chancel, nave, south porch and a small western tower containing a clock and the one bell inscribed to the Holy Trinity. There are five stained windows all to the memory of a member of a Marshall family. There are 120 sittings. The church has a graveyard Oh, well, wow. about what? Yes. 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 So you've got them with you. Yeah. 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 All these houses are uh, built uh, with a yellow stone. Uh, it's uh, called Cotswold stone or uh, yellow olitic Jurassic limestone. Uh, the limestone is the rich in fossils, particularly of fossilized sea urchins when uh, weathered. Uh, the color of building made or faced with this stone is often described as a honey or golden. Snows Hill Lavender. There. Mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't been there, but is that, is that you proving that it absolutely was lavender? <laughs> 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 I'm 
The Cotswold stone varies in colour from north to south, being honey coloured in the north and the northeast of the region, as shown in the Cotswold villages such as Stanton and Broadway, golden coloured in the central and southern areas, as shown in Dursley and Seren sister and a pearly white in bath. Right, uh, this area was designated as uh, AONB in 1966 uh, with an expansion on uh, December 1990 to uh, 1990 square kilometers and in 91 all AONBs were measured against using modern method. The official area of uh, Cotswold AONB was increased to 2,038 square kilometers. In 2000, the government confirmed that uh, AONB had the same landscape qualities and status as the uh, national parks. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Yeah. Right, uh, exploring the Cotswold by foot, I would uh, highly recommend. Uh, walking in the Cotswold provides a wealth of choices uh, with gentle strolls, hilly hikes, and a variety of circular walks, including many level. There is also a choice uh, and uh, you can consider completing all or part of the Cotswold Way National Trail. This beautiful 102 mile route takes in some of the Cotswold's best scenery with sweeping views, historic monuments, picturesque villages along the way. Uh, combine this with thousands of miles of footpath and uh, bridle ways along rolling hills, dramatic escarpment and uh, winding river valleys and uh, you have a uh, walker's paradise in this area of outstanding natural beauty. The Cotswold Way is a long distance walking trail that runs between the market town of Chipping Campden in the north and the city of Bath in the south. Uh, the Cotswold Way has exist, existed as a promoted long distance walk for over 30 years following many years of lobbying by the Ramblers Association and others. Its special qualities have been recognized and in uh, 1998 the government approved its development as a national trail. Uh, the Cotswold Way was formally launched as a national trail in May 2007 and uh, this designation is a very special one. There are only few other trails in England uh, with this special grading. Right, uh, the Cotswold Way is a long distance walking trail that runs between the market town of Chipping Camden in the north and the city of Bath in the south. The trail is 102 miles, uh, that is 164 kilometer long and uh, runs for most of its length on the Cotswold escarpment. It passes through many picturic villages and uh, close to a significant number of historic sites. For example, the Roman heritage at Bath, the Neolithic burial chamber at Velas Nap, Sudley Castle near Winchcombe, Hales, Abbey and many beautiful churches and historical houses. Right, the history of uh, this place uh, is there is evidence of a Neolithic settlement from burial chambers uh, on Cotswold Edge and there are remains of bronze and uh, Iron Age forts. Later the Romans built villas such as uh, at uh, Chedworth settlements, uh, such as uh, Gloucester, and paved the Celtic path, later known as uh, Fosse Way. During the Middle Ages, thanks to the breed of sheep known as the Cotswold Lion, the Cotswold became prosperous from the wool trade uh, with the continent with much of the money made from wool directed towards the building of churches. The most successful era for the wool trade was 1250 to 1350. Much of the wool at that time was sold to Italian merchants. Uh, the area still preserves numerous large, handsome Cotswold stone wool churches the fluent area in the 21st century has attracted wealthy Londoners and other who own second homes uh, there or have chosen to retire in Cotswold.
AONB uh, stated uh, in uh, in the report that uh, the main source of the income is a real estate renting and uh, business activities manufacturing and wholesale and retail trade repairs tourism is a significant part of uh, uh, the Cotswold um, and it has gained a lot of money through accommodation and uh, local attractions entertainments oh wow that's so perfect isn't it yeah with the water Actually, lilies and uh, yes, north of Paris a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Come to Hello, little one. Hello. Very friendly. <laughs> He's got hair like Trump. <laughs> Doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so cute. He's going to have <laughs> Boris Johnson. <laughs> Look at those beautiful eyelashes. Oh, you're perfect size for me to just jump on. <laughs> Hi. Oh, treat. <laughs> yeah, a nice army. That's like my highlight of the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the end of the first part uh, of my walk in Cotswold. To find out more, see the next part. Yes, right on. Nice view.